Maple Leafs fans, Joseph Wall gets his first shutout as a Maple Leaf. What a game from Joseph Wall. Thank goodness. I'm so happy for that man. Only faced 20 shots, but who cares? He's celebrating the locker room with water bottles being poured on him like crazy after the game. Leafs win this one 3-0 and improved to 13-6-1 with 27 points to show for over 20 games, second in the Atlantic. The Islanders, on the other hand, 5-8-2 with 12 points to show for and their eighth in the Metro have not won a game at the new arena of the UBS Arena in New York. Yikes for the Islanders. Hopefully they can turn it around. I actually like their team, and I think they're a pretty good darn group of guys who can get some damage done in the regular season. They got to find it together. Anyways, first period rolls around, and this game is pretty square. We got a couple good chances back and forth. The Islanders got a power play and turning it over. Jake Muzzin throws it up the ice to Mitch Marner. Dipsy doodles through, gets on the back end, puts it in the net. The patience by Mitch Marner scored that goal. Shorthanded tally for his fifth of the season. 331 into the first period. It's 1-0 for the good guys. Entering the second. Not much happening here. There's a couple chances back and forth. But the Leafs still maintain to hold possession for majority of the game. Lots of penalties in this one. The refs were really blowing that whistle a lot. It felt the need to call those penalties. I didn't feel the need to. Anyways, the Leafs move on. We move on to the third period. Two minutes hit the clock. And Nick Ritchie throws it up to David Kemp in front of the net as Andre Chikasha for his fifth of the season. And the Leafs make it two to nothing. With only two minutes into the third period, the Islanders back in trouble. Joseph Wall makes a couple gorgeous saves. A split save across ice from Joseph Wall in the second period. Then the third period had a couple nasty saves entering the halfway point of this third period. A great pass from Austin Matthews to Michael Bunting. Back to Mitch Marner. Michael Bunting in front to Mitch Marner. The sixth of the season for Mitch and Marn Barnes. 13-29 into the third period. The Leafs have a commanding 3-0 lead. And they finish it off. The 10 seconds left in the clock. Joseph Wall looking up. He knows he's done this. And he gets his first career shutout. The three stars in this one. Andre Kasha with a goal and no assists. Plus one on the night, 13-01 of time on ice. Joseph Wall, 20 saves, 20 shots against, a 1.00 save percentage, and a 59-54 time on ice. And Mitch Marner, two goals, no assists, plus two on the night, and a 19-42 from Mitch Marner. So, really, really good game from Mitch Marner. And he did a fantastic job. He did a really good job in this one, Joseph Wall included. Didn't have as much shots. Talk about a goaltender who really tried to keep his team in this one. Elias Sorokin, 40 shots against, 3 goals against, 37 saves, and a 925 save percentage. But it wasn't enough to bail out his team in the end. The Islanders lose, and the Leafs live on a fight another day after beating the Islanders. They'll go on a western road trip to Los Angeles to face the Kings first. Fifth in this Pacific this season, the Kings, they're 8-7-3 with 19 points to show. Four pretty good from the Kings and the Leafs, as I explained earlier. 13-6-1, second inning in the Atlantic. And most likely to start this one will be Jack Campbell. I'd be surprised if he wasn't. And on the other hand, it probably will be Jonathan Quick. It could be Cal Peterson, but he's had a tough season to start. So Jonathan Quick, he's looking to have the better season so far. Jonathan Quick, most likely going to get the call for the Los Angeles Kings. But anyways, guys, that is all I have to say for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more of these videos, and please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. It helps me a lot, and I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one against the Los Angeles Kings. Make sure to tune in to Sportsnet 1 at 10 p.m. That's right. It's a late game against the LA Kings. We're all going to stay up to watch it, hopefully. It's going to be a late one, but it's going to be a fun one. Wednesday Night Hockey, November 24th, Sportsnet 1, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. You don't want to miss it. Anyways, until then, guys, take it easy.